Oh, we have we have a call on the on the Navy story. Oh, I hope it's someone who saw it. Uh, it could be from someone very highly qualified <laughs> to speak on military uh, in an official capacity on military matters. Andrea in whoa, Salt Lake whoa, City. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take out that official capacity. Uh, ex- <laughs> exactly. Uh, prior relevant experience. We'll go with that. But, yes. Uh, <laughs> I have to admit, I you know I wasn't an officer. I wasn't a pilot. However, I was a coxswain on a small boat, and we had a GPS chart plotter. And about five years ago, I drew a similar anatomic structure while on post. Wait, uh, how did you do it? Uh, well, the chart pl- plotter kind of like it leaves bre- breadcrumbs basically wherever the boat went. Yeah. So you just leave it on. And yes, it was a very childish thing to do. However, <laughs> what it demonstrates is competence with your craft. Uh, that <laughs> Honestly, that should be a training <laughs> exercise. <laughs> In my case, I'm operating on one plane on a surface of the water. However, I have to understand the wind, how that affects my boat, how that, uh, <laughs> you know, currents, everything else. You know, this Navy pilot, yes, very juvenile thing, but, uh, you know, that's uh, that's some serious control of the craft. That's what I see in the whole thing. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's not not just anybody can draw uh, in that way. So, Andrea, you took your, what was it, like a little PT-type boat? Uh, no, it would have been smaller than that. It was Smaller uh, than a PT boat. Yeah, it, it was like a 27-foot metal shark. I mean, this is like half a decade ago, so my memory It's not the size of... that matters. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. Which, yeah. Whatever the boat size is fine. Yeah, sure. we, we just we had to be fast. So that but was... you <laughs> took the boat, and you, you rode it in an obscene uh, shape? You know, if you want to see a picture, Tom, just go to my Twitter page. That's my <laughs> background photo. Oh, it oh, is. Oh, that's amazing. The ocean penis. So we could yeah. put, <laughs> see it. Matt, it, it, would it be acceptable to put that on our... Uh, on our Fox I mean, News you know, sponsored Facebook page? I have a censored version up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I would think the dirtiness uh, lies in uh, the imagination of uh, who gazes upon the photo, not who drew it. I take no responsibility for that, Tom. That's right. Hmm. It's what you see. You know what I mean? It's what you see in the shapes. It's true. Dirty yeah, mi- people 100%. Have, people have dirty minds. Yep. I never intended that. And it's to be that honest, psychological test. It's what you see. Well, the war I, shock. Yeah. yeah. I have often said things. I used to say things on Red Eye that they would cut out. <laughs> and then after the show, they would say, I can't even repeat what, I, what they were because now <laughs> they are officially dirty. But I would say things and they, they, the producer would cut them out. And then I'd be like, why'd you cut that? And he's like, you can't say that on TV. And I'd say, why not? And then he would explain it to me. And I would have, I didn't even know the dirty joke I told. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I didn't understand yeah. it. So the urban dictionary is so big these days. You never know. Well, and people are so sensitive. I heard an interview with Kelly Clarkson where she said that song, My Life Would Suck Without You. People flipped out about the word suck. <laughs> they I, did? Like, I had no idea that was a problem. Hmm. I guess maybe like, you know, in the car with the young kids or something. Maybe, you know? I guess. She has that family following. Mm. Yeah. But, you know. I will say, when I've done military tours and people have asked me to sign like their chest or their heads, I almost always do it as a penis. <laughs> <laughs> always. Yeah. I, yeah, so I'm probably not doing any more USO tours anytime soon. Well, you know, it's with, yeah. you, with the guys you want to... Uh, speaking of which, yeah, and Andrea, are you and still Frank. there, Andrea? <laughs> yeah. Have you, did, did you ever see uh, any of these kind of shows? You know, the Al Franken show, it was like a USO show, and, you know, it was kind of a Bob Hope-styled show, and I guess he was doing a little, you know, uh, whatever it was. Sketchy the sketch. Sketchy <laughs> sketch, yeah. Did you ever see any shows like this, Andrea? Uh, I was only in Bahrain for about 14 months, and there, there were a couple of shows, but I'm very nervous about crowds, so I generally did not attend, although I have to say... Uh, on uh, Armed Forces Network when I was down in El Salvador this spring, I did see that Allie Breen was on tour for the troops. So thanks, Allie. Oh, of course. I love That's one of my favorite things to do. Thank you for your service. You guys are amazing. And where did you go? On- I've gone to a few. I did one in Japan, and then I did one in Egypt, Jordan, and Turkey, and another one through Eastern Europe um, that was mostly Germany. Holy cow. Yeah, they've been fantastic. Our troops are amazing. And they, I mean, they love it, right? They love the show. They love it. They're so enthusiastic. And they love just new faces coming by to talk and hang out and, you know, tell them what's going on in the States and all that stuff. Especially, like, the remote, you know, in Jordan and uh, Egypt, we're in some really remote places. Yeah. And they just were happy for fresh faces to be visiting. And did anybody try to stick their tongue down your throat when they rehearsed a sketch? (laughs) No one. Everyone was on their best behavior. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for the call, Andrea.